Welcome back. Today we're going to be addressing um, the icing of golfer's elbow. Uh, usually when you, and this is for the acute stage, so this is within the initial 72 hours. So what you want to do is get yourself an ice pack. You don't want to use heat because that's just going to irritate and inflame the tissues already. There's already enough um, blood and fluid in, in, in the tissues. So what you want to do is eliminate the swelling, the edema uh, in the irritated damaged tissues. So again, this is within the first 72 hours. After that, you move to um, contrast bath and then chronic it's heat. And plus you can use uh, contrast baths at that stage as well because it brings healing nutrients to the area. So it mimics exercise. So what you want to do is make sure that your your elbow is in, a, in an extended position because you want to make sure that the, the flexor group tissues here um, connect to the medial epicondyle are in a stretched position because if you ice your elbow like this and then all of a sudden when you go to stretch your uh, extend your, el your elbow it will be iced in a short tight position and now it's going to put more stress and strain because because these are iced and short and tight now as you extend your elbow it's going to tug uh, on the medial epicondyle where the tissues are already torn um, and uh, irritated so make sure it's in a stretched position what you want to do then is place the ice um, around the elbow joint here uh, and um, I've let this pack uh, cool down a little bit uh, so it's not directly out of the freezer so it's not going to damage my tissues um, by using this and because the on the medial epicondyle where the tissues are um, attached for the flexor group yes this is a huge thick muscle here so if i were icing the muscle group itself then i would uh, could ice it for a longer period of time because it's not um, on the actual uh, thick muscle tissue group but instead where they attach on the bony medial epicondyle here um, the tissues are not the same it's very thin skin here and so you don't need to ice it as long i would say probably one to two minutes um, is plenty anything beyond that then you're just going to irritate it and um, what happens is that the area suspects that it's being injured now because it's so cold that it tries to warm the area so then you're actually defeating the purpose because it's not bringing um, uh, blood to the area and what you're trying to do by icing it is push the blood out of the area so just do it for one to two minutes um, on the medial epicondyle and again, in a stretched position like this, don't hyperextend your elbow, of course, but just make sure it's in a nice, comfortable position. That's it. Um, you can do this several times a day. And uh, after the 72 hour um, initial period, um, you'll see in the next video that I do that it's contrast bath where you're alternating heat and ice in order to mimic exercise by pushing the, the tissue, the blood out of the area, and then the heat bringing the blood into the area and then back out of the area and then into the area. And it's kind of like exercise. Um, where the blood volume is pumping through, which is again bringing healing nutrients um, to the area so it can heal a lot faster. Thanks a lot, and uh, you'll see uh, next on the subacute stage of uh, Golfer's Elbow on how to treat that uh, via hydrotherapy uh, and using the contrast bath method. Thanks again. Note, as I stated before, that when icing the elbow, um, I use this gel pack. I let it warm up a little bit so that there's no ice on the outside. Um, the old theory of no pain, no gain does not um, associate with uh, icing the elbow or any part of the body, as a matter of fact, because it can result to tissue damage. Um, if you want, you can uh, wrap it. Um, usually a gel pack, like I said, if I warm it up a bit, there's no need to. I'm going to wrap it. Also, uh, you don't want to make sure that it's um, so thick that you actually can't um, feel the ice. I mean, that doesn't make any sense. And then that means you're going to have to leave it on there for longer periods of time. So